welcome to a new vlog so we finally made it to cabo but i'm so excited to be here it is so beautiful and i'm ready to get settled in unpack shower because i'm crusty and musty right now but before we do that i want to give you a little room tour before i mess everything up so let's go ahead and get into that but i'm so excited i'm so 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 excited i'll show you glimpses of the rest of the airbnb a little bit later but i want to show you my room first and foremost so when you walk in there's this little hallway okay right here we have a little table where you could put your phone your bag and things of course i have my shoes right here we have this huge dresser it's huge you guys i don't think the camera is doing it justice but so much space for clothes things and all of that have a tv we have a fan a fan up here and we also have an ac i just turned that off because it was kind of loud so we have that going on and then over here this view my room walks out to straight into the jacuzzi we have an infinity pool upstairs but right here outside of my bedroom is the jacuzzi let me show you guys And there's a cute little pathway over there as well i'll show you guys in a bit so pretty to just start the morning out here are you kidding me we have double curtains right here which is so nice for one when you want to like black out the room at night and get a good night's sleep and second if you want a little bit of light to show during the day but you want some privacy you just do these curtains so I'm gonna have these open for now. And then when you turn around, so I'm facing the outside. This is what the other side looks like. So of course we have the bed, my luggage. We have two nightstands on each side with lots of storage places to charge your camera, phone, everything that you need. Also, I love the view from the bedroom windows like this with the palm trees. I love it, it is so pretty. I seriously love everything about this room. And then in here we have our own bathroom and she is big and she is grand. So we have lots of cabinet space right here. This is what the selfie situation is looking like. We also have a beautiful, beautiful walk-in shower. Gorgeous. Like, let's really get into this. Ugh, the content. The content that I'm going to get just in this space alone is gonna be so bomb. I cannot wait. This is a beautiful, beautiful shower and it has a detachable shower head which i love i love so this is what the shower is looking like on this side if you turn around we have these huge linen closets or maybe this is just like a regular closet i actually haven't even opened it let me see what's going on. oh perfect so in here we have the closet so i'm going to hang up all my clothes in here perfect i hadn't even opened these doors until i started recording i assumed that i would just be putting my clothes where the um inside the drawers the dresser drawers but this is an actual closet in the bathroom so that is so convenient i'll actually probably put this hamper in there just to get it out the way and make it a little bit neater in here but we have a closet going on. Another little mirror here to check your little fit for the day. Toilet, nothing else to see there. And let me just turn back around one more time. Of the bedroom, the views, it's the views for me. 
So that is a little tour of our room. I am so excited for the next week. I am going to enjoy doing nothing, relaxing, just recharging. I'm also excited for the content that I'm going to create while I'm here. My creative juices are flowing right now and I'm just so, so, so excited and happy and grateful to be here. But anyways, we are going to start unpacking. I want to unpack my bags and get everything situated. That way I can just be organized and can have like all my outfits and things planned just to make my life easier while I'm here. But that is a little tour. I'm so excited for this vlog and I hope you guys are excited just as I am. everything I have one of my suitcases here that's empty my water container so that I can stay hydrated I ended up bringing this with me whenever I'm on vacation I always struggle to stay hydrated so we're bringing this and I'm gonna put it next to my nightstand okay and now that we're here in this drawer I just have my passport my journal the book that i'm reading my pens things like that and then over here i have all my jewelry laid out my perfumes that i brought this is a travel kit that i got from the brand replica they sent this to me to try out and it has pretty much all of their scents that you can imagine this is what our closet situation is looking like i have bathing suits Tank tops, t-shirts, uh, dressier blouses, button-ups, uh, dresses, bathing suit cover-ups. Down here I have linen pants, um, jeans, basically all the bottoms that I brought with me. In here I have my shoes, uh, my makeup, the rest of my body care essentials, toiletries, bags, things like that. So that's everything that we have organized and situated. I'm so I'm going to take a shower now. You don't know how much I'm looking forward to this shower. I feel so musty and crusty right now. After traveling, you know, you're sweating, you're in public places, you're around people. It's just a lot going on. So I really need this shower and I'm gonna get ready tonight because we're going to dinner, um, our first night out, our first night here. are pretty much ready to go. I'm about to put my perfume on, my vacation scent. Makeup is all from the new products that I bought and showed in my last vlog. My lips are MAC Strip Down and the Juvia's Coffee Break lip gloss that I recently just got. Earrings are from Target. Top is H&M. Pants are Zara bag is H&M. This is the entire fit. This is our look for the night and we are gonna head out now.
just got back from the store we had a little bit of lunch and i just changed into my bathing suit it is so cute this is the one that i got from h&m i showed in a few vlogs ago we are having a pool day today so i thought i'd keep it cute and just very natural since we're having just like a chill pool day today and we're not really going anywhere on my face i just have the life tinted hue guard three in one this is the mineralized sunscreen primer and moisturizer so i'm not wearing any makeup except mascara and then i also have the vacation chardonnay oil um, spf so this is a body oil and it also has um, spf 30 in it i applied some earlier like uh when we went to the grocery store but since i'm heading to the pool right now i applied a little bit more and look at the glow let me see if i can show you guys i just applied some i don't know if you can tell but this has such a beautiful glow and then for my bag, I'm just taking this H&M tote bag that I also shared in my last vlog. Or actually, I don't think I shared it in my last vlog. Um, but I'm just putting all my essentials in here. And then it's like my perfume. I just am applying the Beach Walk 1 by Replica. It's the same one that I applied earlier today. I'm just applying a little more. And yeah, that's pretty much our outfit of the day. Like I said, we're going to have a more chill Sunday today. We're not really going anywhere, so I'll honestly probably be in this all day. And then we're going to um, cook dinner here tonight since we went out last night. And I'm tired. We're all really tired. So, yeah, this is our little outfit of the day. I've been shooting some content as well, so I'm really happy about that. And, yeah, I've been enjoying myself thus far, and I'm excited to go head to the pool so let's go but it's essentially like a pier um, where they have shopping and restaurants and things like that so we're gonna head out um, right now and explore this is my outfit she is super cute my top is a linen oversized button up from H&M I just tied it at the bottom and I kind of unbuttoned it a little bit but you can't really tell because my purse is in the way and then I have my bathing suit top underneath my shorts are also H&M as well. They're just white linen, so this is very flowy, comfortable. My bag is H&M as well, so actually this entire outfit is pretty much H&M, go figure. Earrings, Target, bracelet, Annalisa, my glasses, also H&M as well. I just have on my Birkenstocks right now, but I'm going to change into... My other sandals just wanted to show you my little outfit of the day i have a few minutes to chat before we have to leave and i just wanted to check in with you guys and just share my thoughts how i'm feeling about everything obviously i've been like telling you what i'm doing and things like that but i haven't had a moment to like sit down chat with you guys i haven't even had a moment to sit down and like check in with myself i finally had time to do that this morning as you guys saw i went out um in the backyard to do some journaling and it was honestly such a peaceful journaling session to be out in nature the weather was beautiful it was nice and fresh the birds were chirping and just being out there with all the palm trees and everything it was a really good journaling session great way to start the new month which by the way happy april today's april 1st new month new week 
and honestly sorry i'm so out of breath because i was running <laughs> up and down the stairs right now but honestly i feel like it's a new era i don't know how to explain it but i feel like i have officially entered a new season i don't know i just feel very inspired i know it's also because i'm in a new space and i'm experiencing new things and i get inspired by my environment and the things around me and being here has really inspired me once again in life and i feel like i really really needed that for a while i felt kind of like stuck in a rut and this was the refresh the reset button that i needed this ship came at the most perfect divine timing because it came at the end of all of my trials and tribulations that i was facing at the beginning of the year and this feels like a reset it feels like a fresh start and i feel like i'm going to go back home feeling so inspired and ready to start this new era this new journey and just like hit the ground running so yeah that's where i am right now and i am happy i really really am <laughs> quietly but today is the last full day that we have here we actually head out tomorrow which is saturday um i think our flight is around 3 p.m so we have like the afternoon but obviously we have to head to the airport do all that so today's like our official last day here and i'm so sad the week flew by but I'm also happy because our next stop is back home um, to California where I'm from to spend time with family and friends so that I'm excited for at least you know the vacation isn't fully over yet we have another week of my version of spring break is what I'm calling it but I am sad to be leaving here I loved it so much it was so much fun I've enjoyed everything that we've done. I feel like I didn't really do a good job vlogging when I was out, like doing stuff, um, going to dinners, exploring, because I was just like so in the moment. I did take photos and like short little videos on my phone, so I'll try to include that in this vlog just to make it a little bit more interesting, but yeah, I did not do a good job vlogging while I was actually out enjoying myself, but I really, really did enjoy myself. Last night, um, I had the best, the best massage. Um, if you saw my Instagram stories, you, you know. I got a massage yesterday on the beach around sunset time and... Oh, it was the best massage that I've gotten ever and just 
it being on the beach, hearing the water. There was actually a wedding going on next door at the restaurant that was next door and they were playing beautiful music and it was just a vibe. It was a vibe and it was during sunset. Uh, it was so beautiful. So we did that yesterday and um, I got the best sleep afterwards because of that massage and I'm when I come back to Cabo because I definitely want to come back I am going there again it's called the the sandbar yeah it's called the sandbar it's right off the beach and it's a restaurant bar um, on the bottom floor and the two levels above are for massages so did that so much so relaxing so needed especially towards the end of the trip it's like the best way to end off the trip so yeah i really really have enjoyed myself um lots of seeing new things eating good food good laughs getting some sun and i really enjoyed this trip um today today's friday and i think Today, obviously, I'm going to prep like my stuff, my luggage for tomorrow so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to do some laundry right now in a bit and just like wash all my clothes so I don't have dirty clothes going into my mom's house. Even though I could wash my clothes there, I just don't want to have dirty clothes with me. Um, wash some of my clothes. Um, I have a little bit of work to do. I could do it at my mom's house as well on Sunday. But I don't want to. I'm trying to avoid doing anything on Sunday because I know I'm going to be so tired. So if I could find a moment to get it done while I'm here, I'll do that. It shouldn't take me long anyways. It's just like a quick little thing I have to do. Um, so I'm going to try to get that done. And then I think with it being like our last night here, we're going to do one more like nice dinner out. Oh, the AC just turned on. Hold on. As I was saying, with it being our last night here, I think we're going, I think we're going to do one more nice dinner out so we don't have to cook tonight or anything. And then we head out tomorrow. I feel so inspired. I feel grateful. I feel blessed. I feel just really happy. Like I was telling you guys last time, I'm really, really happy with everything that's going on in my life. The direction that it's going in the things that are happening the opportunities that i'm receiving the experiences that i'm making the moments everything i'm just so so grateful so happy so blessed and i'm just trying my best to be present and reflective of all the things that are happening because i always say this i always say this in life, it feels like for a very long time, nothing is happening. Whatever that is, whether it's like in your love life, in your career, your social life, whatever area of life or just life in general, you go through periods where it feels like nothing is happening, nothing is working, you don't know what's going on, you feel lost, you don't know what to do, and then everything just happens all at once everything that you've been working for everything that you've been wanting everything that you've been seeking it all happens all at once and i'm experiencing that right now for a long time in life in general it feels like i've been putting in a lot of effort i've been putting in a lot of work you know every single day every day every single day doing something to get me where I want to be to just move my life forward in the direction that I wanted to go in and it felt like day after day after day nothing was happening nothing was changing nothing was progressing and the thing is things like that take time and it's not going to happen overnight you need to have faith patience consistency and one day it's all going to start happening for you and it usually happens all at once and that's kind of where i am right now it's like one thing happened and then another thing happened and now all these things are happening and i'm like oh my goodness i'm so grateful because it's all things that i've wanted and that i've worked for and that i've prayed for but it's 
because it's all happening at once I'm like whoa this is a lot but in a good way so this is your reminder I don't even know where I'm going with this conversation but this is your reminder if you're in a season where it feels like nothing is happening you haven't found your soulmate you haven't found your dream job you haven't found your dream home whatever the case is keep going be patient have faith when the time is right it will happen the opportunity will come the soulmate will come i promise and i think i'm living proof of that right now right now everything is happening all at once and i'm thankful and grateful and a little bit overwhelmed but we'll get through it but anyways, I'm going to make my coffee for the day and get my day started, get my laundry out of the way so I don't have to worry about it later and I can enjoy the rest of my day when the sun gets a little bit warmer. It's still early in the morning. It's like 7 in the morning. Um, so I'm going to get that started and enjoy the rest of my day. I just finished getting ready for our last dinner of the trip. Today is our last night, like I was telling you guys earlier. We spent the whole day at the beach and had such a good time. I had like three margaritas. They were bomb, okay? Probably the best margaritas that I've had the whole trip. Such a great way to end the last day of the trip. I'm so tired right now, but we're about to head out to dinner. I just finished getting ready and I wanted to show you my outfit. I'm wearing these super cute pants. Let me show you guys on this side, actually. I am wearing these super cute flowy pants that I actually bought while I was here on vacation. Um, we went to a bunch of little shops and boutiques and I saw these and I had to get them. They're super flowy and comfortable, but what I love most is the print. The print is just so, 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 so nice and these were hanging on the wall they were the only pants that they had in store i tried them on and i knew i knew i had to get them so i'm wearing these tonight they're super comfy paired it with this black tank top i kind of folded the tank top a little bit because it is a little bit longer and i wanted it to be more cropped and then the earrings we're just doing the earrings that i got from target and elisa Nothing fancy, and I'm just wearing these black sandals that I got from Boohoo. My makeup of the day, you can't really tell because the lighting's kind of dark now. It's pretty, it's getting pretty dark right now. The sun is setting and the lighting in the room isn't the best, but I've honestly had this makeup on all day. I just freshened up with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and then I powdered and I added a little bit more um, bronzer and blush but this is our look oops let me hide the bra straps and then for scent scent we're doing vacation by vacation this is the bag that i'm using you guys please don't mind the mess everywhere i'm in the middle of packing as well and this pretty much concludes our look of the night super pretty flowy just the way i like it so we're about to head out for dinner now but when i get back home if i'm not too tired i'll probably finish up packing tonight i started packing a little bit earlier before we went to the beach but i had some clothes that was in the dryer that just finished up so i have a few things to pack and of course like my shampoo and everything getting it together slowly but surely so i'll probably finish that tonight if i'm not too tired but I don't know girl because right now it's like 6 37 and my eyes are already red but i know it's because i've been out in the sun all day and i have a few margaritas in me so i'm like ready for bed but we're gonna head out now last dinner of the trip <laughs> That's fine for you I do that three four times again I testify for you I told I like you That bitch I do it All that I'm around You scared to do I'm not As long as you joking Now in for me I ain't got it